Nova With a Mike Parks T84 55 And a 3 You on your flat K87 capsule rocks, yeah Oh, this rocks, yeah This Mike rocks, yeah From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. Microphone part circuit, you say? 3U Audio Flat K87 Capsule, you say? Yes, it's Frank and Mike's show and tell. And this one I've had for quite a while. But uh, I, it, it got lost in the back of the mic locker. And I don't know why. Well, I do know why. The last time I tried to use this mic in the booth, it was through the Apollo. And it sounded bad. It just sounded bad to me. Doesn't sound bad now, so I'm not sure why, other than the Apollo sucks. But other than that, pretty happy with this sound. So the Mic Parts T8455, that is a circuit kit that you can buy from microphoneparts.com. And it is a, a hybrid version of the, uh, the KM84 circuit. So it's a flat circuit with a transformer in it. Um, and this version of it is pretty cool because the saturation that I'm getting with this transformer is really nice. It feels, it feels like this mic is electric, like, like I'm running it on 220 volts. It just it has a, a powerful feel to it. I like it a lot. Um, and uh, the, the, hold on, you know what? I was going to take a picture and just paste it into the video <laughs> afterwards. In a second, but let's just show it to you. A lot of screws on this bottom cap here. I think I can do this while pulling the mic cable out. I can show this to you. Here we go. It's going to hum, so. That's the circuit. Camera won't pull focus on it, but uh, it's a pretty cool circuit. It's really one board, two sides. Um, you know, very simple. Very simple circuit. Sorry about this. Screwing the bottom on. cap back on the audio microphone. Ooh, yeah. So, a lot of threads on that cap. So um, overall, right, it's a, it's a nice implementation of that circuit. And I, I, I do. I like this saturation. I like the forwardness of it. And, you know, it's not just, it's not just, it's not just the circuit. The circuit's cool, but it's not just the circuit. This M-Audio body, by the way, solid as a rock. I mean, really nice built body. And the M-Audio Nova was an interesting mic unto itself because it wasn't a bad sounding mic and it had a really good capsule and i forget who made the capsule but it had a really good underrated capsule i should dig up a nova oh well, that's for a later date but anyway so it's got it's like a smaller than an 87 more like a u89 style and the head basket is kind of a little bit of a uh, little short kind of thing but i think it has the right uh geometric ratio to give you that u87 bite to it so I like it. And of course, since this is a flat circuit, I throw a, a, you know, you'd normally put like a K47 or like a C12 style capsule on it, you know, edge terminated or a K47. But the flat K87 capsule, this thing is a marvel. What is a flat K87 capsule, you ask? So Guo Xingjiang over at 3U Audio, who has been designing capsules for decades, he designed this thing and is so cool. Because it gives you the 87 tone, but on a flat circuit. All right. So on an on a usual U87 circuit, right? The circuit is built in with high end de-emphasis. So it's like a EQ cut in the high end to make up for the fact that a K87 capsule is usually very bright, right? So in order to make it less bright, you add the EQ in the circuit. All right. So <laughs> Guo Xing, he took, he took, I guess he took a, a page out of the K, the, um, the K, what is it? The K103 um, from the TLM103 Neumann capsule, which sits on a flat circuit as well, but just doesn't, has a little bit more high end extension. And he, but he made it right. It sounds right. There's no EQ on this. There's an 80 hertz uh, uh, low cut on this because without it, it's just got such a massive bottom end. Without, here, I'm going to take it off. Hold on. Without the low cut, without the low cut, I mean, that's ridiculous. It sounds stupid without the low cut, but with the low cut, it's nice. But this capsule is great. I mean, it's not, it's not like really sharp and weird sounding up top, like some, some capsules can be on a flat circuit. 
Sounds beautiful. It really is. It's a hybrid of like a 47 and an 87. It's beautiful. And you know what? You can you can buy these. You can buy these from 3U Audio. That's really cool. So uh, if you're interested, 3U Audio at gmail.com. Um, so the the overall the overall net effect of this circuit, this capsule, and this body yields something that I think is pretty cool. You know, you can you can build your own mics, and it's not that tough if you get a kit. And there aren't that many great kits out there. You know, you can get a kit from mic parts. And I'm not a kit guy anymore. I started out building kits. And the thing with building kits is if you get a mic parts kit, right? Mic parts is great because you can buy a kit that has all the parts, everything you need, all the components, the transformer, the boards, and a really nice instructional booklet that gives you step-by-step, uh, almost paint-by-numbers way to build your circuit or your microphone. It's pretty cool. You're going to pay a little extra for that. It's like a concierge service. You know, you get it all in one place, one-stop shop, but it's going to cost you a little extra. You pay a little premium for it. If you don't mind that, just to get something that you know you don't have to scramble around in, like with normal mic DIY, you might have to order parts from here, there, everywhere. might take weeks to get everything, maybe months. But if you order from Mike Parts, you know, you pay a little bit more and you get something. And, you know, overall, like what you get from Mike Parts is pretty good, but it really depends on the capsule you put on it. Not a fan of Mike Parts capsules, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, the, the overall net effect here, I think is positive. I like this. So again, this podcast that was not, um, this mic does not have a nickname. I don't have a nickname for it. So give this mic a nickname, all right? Leave it in the comments. If you have a nickname to give this mic, uh, I will entertain any nickname. <laughs> so go for it. All right, what do you think? Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.